वेलकम टू ज्योग्राफी क्लास हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो फ्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑन क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स आर हेल्पफुल फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ कंपिटिटिव एग्जाम एज वेल एज फॉर आई सी एस सी ग्रेड टेन एंड सी बी एस सी नाउ वी सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिव टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सामर मनसून रेनफॉल इन इंडिया द फर्स्ट वन इट इज मेनली ओरोग्राफिक इन नेचर सो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ओरोग्राफिक येस the meaning of orographic is relief that means the relief or the mountain controls the distribution of rainfall throughout the india second the monsoon rainfall in india is unevenly spread that means from east to west the amount of rainfall will decrease even you can see in the windward side of any mountain the amount of rainfall will be heavy and the leeward side of any mountain the amount of rainfall will be low right next rainfall in india is orographic in nature give an example with reference here i have taken the example of western ghat you can see the western coastal plain is getting the high amount of rainfall why because the rain bearing wind is coming from the arabian sea and it cannot cross the barrier that's why the western coastal plain is getting the high amount of rainfall which is known as the windward side of western ghats and if you see the leeward side that is getting a very low amount of rainfall so we have taken the example of mahabaleshwar and pune mahabaleshwar is getting the high amount of rainfall which is approx 250 cm but if you see in case of pune it is situated in the leeward side which records less than 70 cm rainfall okay next the karamandal coast gets most of its rain during the winter season why because during winter season the wind comes from the north eastern side right when the wind is coming from the north eastern sides it will also cross the bay of bengal when it will cross the bay of bengal it will carry the moisture from the bay of bengal and it will bring the rainfall over the karamandal coast right but during monsoon time what happens you can see it is situated in the leeward side of western ghat that's why during monsoon time it doesn't get enough amount of rainfall right that's why the karamandal coast receives is its maximum rainfall during winter time next name the type of climate prevailing over india mention any two uh, factors responsible for it the, the name of the climate is tropical monsoon climate there are several factors are working on it but we have taken only two as per the question first is the latitudinal extent so you can see the southern portion of india that is nearer to the equator so obviously in the southern portion there will be the influence of equatorial climate but the northern portion of india which is far away from the equator so obviously in the northern portion it uh, there will be no influence of equatorial climate rather there will be the influence of the tropic of cancer okay next is the altitude so here you have to remember one thing so many big mountains are there within india okay so because of the presence of the mountain uh, uh, the adjoining places of the those hills or mountain the temperature will be relatively low doesn't matter it is situated near the equator or far away from the equator in high altitude normal lapse rate plays a major role uh, for the distribution of temperature what is the direction of the summer monsoon and why the direction of summer monsoon is southwest you already know that uh, during hot weather season 
there is a development of low pressure system over the northwestern portion of India and it attracts the rain bearing wind from the southern portion. So what will happen? The south east trade winds it will deflect towards right when it will cross the equator and it will enter to the northern hemisphere right after entering to the northern hemisphere the southeast trade winds will become the southwest monsoon okay name two types of cyclonic system that affect the india and two areas that receive rainfall from these systems first whenever we are talking about the cyclonic systems there are two types of cyclones developed throughout the world first one is the temperate cyclone and the second one is the tropical cyclone now you know during the season especially in retreating monsoon or in the uh, cold weather season there is a development of tropical cyclone over the bay of bengal right why because this time the southern portion of india gets the almost direct sunlight and there is a development of low pressure over the adjoining ocean so uh, because of the tropical cyclone eastern coastal plain of india or you can say andhra pradesh tamil nadu west bengal and orissa they get or they receive the rainfall after that the temperate cyclone which is also known as the extra tropical cyclone because of the cyclone the north western portion of india gets the rainfall here you have to remember one thing the source of this rainfall or you can say the moisture that is the mediterranean region mention the different sources of rain in punjab and tamil nadu during the winter season that first you already know that sources of rain in punjab are the temperate cyclones which is also known as the western disturbances these western disturbances are coming from the mediterranean region second the sources of rains in tamil nadu are the northeast monsoon winds that means the wind that is coming from this side and it carries the carries the moisture from the bay of bengal next state the benefits that are derived from the local wind that blow in summer in the following states in kerala there is a development of local convection current during hot weather season that's why we can see the presence of mango showers so obviously from its name only we can tell it it is actually helping in ripening mangoes and blooming of coffee cherries right and in west bengal the kalbaisakhi helps the crop rise and shoot during hot weather season right next patna receives heavier rain than delhi you have to remember bihar and delhi they are getting the rainfall from the bay of bengal branch so whenever bay of bengal branch is coming from the eastern side obviously at first it will reach to patna then it will reach to delhi so the rain bearing winds that come from the east monsoon gets monsoon winds get dry as the distance from the sea that means as the distance from the sea is more for delhi than patna that's why the patna receives heavier rain than delhi explain two factors that affect the climate of india and give a suitable example first i have already told you as the height increases the temperature will decrease so you know you can take any hill station like manali or nainital whatever that is so manali has a lower temperature than the agra so you can take another example for uh, from any plain region like agra delhi or any plain region next you have to know distance from the sea places close to the sea have lower uh, range of temperature that means the summer temperature the difference between the summer temperature and the winter temperature will be low let's say the summer temperature is 28 degree centigrade or the winter temperature is 20 degree centigrade so the range, uh, range of temperature will be only 8 degree centigrade but the places away from the influence of the sea have higher range of temperature let's say maybe during the summer time in jaipur the uh, range of temperature is uh, 25 degree centigrade how maybe because of the summer temperature will be 50 degree centigrade and the winter temperature is 25 degree centigrade so in that case the annual range of temperature will be higher right 
Next, state two differences between the rainfalls that occur from June to September that means the monsoon season and that from December to February in North India. You already know from June to September that is caused by the southwest monsoon but during December to February that is by the western disturbances right and the amount of rainfall will also vary the amount of rainfall will be 75 to 150 centimeter that is the average rainfall throughout the India whereas during December to February the rainfall amount will be very low it is approx 5 to 7 centimeter right but this rainfall is beneficial for wheat and barley cultivation because they need less amount of water okay next question Kerala has the longest rainy season why because the southwest monsoon uh, through the Arabian Sea branch at first it strikes to the Malabar coast and Kerala situated in the Malabar coast so the first onset of monsoon is on Malabar coast after that the withdrawal of monsoon is also very late for the Malabar coast that's why you can see the longest rainy season next the Ganga plain gets the monsoon rain much later than the west coast of India I have already told at first the Arabian sea branch will hit the Malabar coast and the Ganga plain gets the rainfall through the Bay of Bengal coast so let's say if the Malabar coast is getting the rainfall maybe in the first week of June the Ganga plain will get the rainfall uh, during mid uh, mid june you can say right so as the uh, ganga plain is getting the rainfall through the bay of bengal branch and the onset of monsoon through the bay of bengal branch is later on that's why the ganga plain gets the monsoon rain much later than the west coast of india okay next mention the four seasons that prevail india study uh, stating the month for each so first we are starting from the month of uh, November okay that times the cold weather season that means our winter season after that the hot weather season that is the pre monsoon season so it starts from the month of March and ends in May after that our rainy season that is June to September then the seasons of the retreating monsoon that starts in the month of October and continues till February which is characterized by the October heat right next state the agricultural benefits derived from the westerly depression in Punjab you already know that during winter time uh, India doesn't get rainfall only the northwestern portion of India uh, is getting the rainfall uh, from the Mediterranean Sea so those rainfall are very helpful for the cultivation of wheat which is a major crop in Punjab Next, Kolkata receives heavier rain than Lucknow. Why? You have to know that Kolkata is nearer to the coast. So whenever the wind from the Bay of Bengal branch strikes to the eastern coastal plain of India, at first it will reach to Kolkata, then Lucknow. And by the time it will reach Lucknow, the monsoon winds get dry. Right? That's why Lucknow receives low rainfall than Kolkata. Next, the summer monsoon winds blow over the Arabian Sea from the southwest. Why is it like that? Now, you already know there is a development of low pressure in the northwestern portion of India and this low pressure belt will attract the wind from the high pressure belt so the uh, wind from the high pressure belt will move towards the low pressure belt and uh, because of that the planetary wind which is the southeast trade winds that will also try to move northwards as when it will cross the equator and it will enter to the northern hemisphere it will become the south west monsoon because of the Coriolis effect right next
How is the winter rainfall of the northwestern part of India different from the winter rainfall of the southeastern part of India? Here you have to remember one thing. During winter time, only the two parts of India are getting the rainfall. First one is the northwestern part of India and the second one is the southeastern part of India. So in northwestern part, the rainfall is caused by the western disturbances, but in the southeastern part, the rainfall is caused by the retreating monsoon. Second, we can tell about the uh, name of the states. That is the in uh, case of northwestern part, that is Delhi, Punjab, and Haryana. But in southeastern part, that is only Tamil Nadu and the adjoining parts of Andhra Pradesh. Now we'll see the source of the moisture. For western disturbances, the source of moisture is the Mediterranean Sea, but for the northeastern monsoon, the source of the moisture is the Bay of Bengal. Next, name a state that is the first to experience the onset of monsoon that you already know that is the Kerala and how does the mango shower influence the state of Karnataka for the mango shower from the name only we can tell that is for the mango ripening and another is one uh, for the cherry blossom as they help in the coffee cultivation right three differences between summer monsoon season and the retreating monsoon season in this case you have to remember summer monsoon season causes heavy rainfall almost throughout india now in case of the retreating monsoon season in this season only tamil nadu region and the adjoining parts of andhra pradesh are getting rainfall summer monsoon travel from sea to land right but retreating monsoon at first it travels from land to sea then sea to land this wind blow during months of june july august and september but in case of the retreating monsoon it blows during the month of october and november next what type of wind is monsoon it is a periodic winds that means periodically it blows right during summer season sea to land and during winter season land to sea next with reference to the summer season in india answer the following question mention the duration of summer season in india here you already know that is from march to may what is the atmospheric pressure condition during summer season over the central part of india obviously the low pressure condition that's why it is able to attract the monsoon winds from the sea that means from the high pressure region distinguish between the northeast monsoon and the retreating monsoon this is a very very common question almost uh, a huge amount of people are getting confused with uh, this question what is northeast monsoon northeast monsoon winds blow during our winter season that means fully developed winter season that is the december to february but in case of the retreating monsoon that is just after rainy season that means october november sometimes we can include the month of september too northeast monsoon winds bring rainfall over the coastal region of tamil nadu like in this region but in case of the retreating monsoon it doesn't bring rainfall retreating monsoon is marked by the clear skies and rising temperature which is known as the october heat right next distinguish between the western disturbances and northwestern here also i have seen many people are confused with that western disturbance is an extra tropical storm that means temp uh, temperate cyclone and the origin of the temperate cyclone is in the mediterranean region but northwestern or the kalvaisakhi is a local rainfall associated with thunderstorms especially uh, in west bengal assam and bangladesh western disturbances bring a sudden winter rain to the northwestern parts of the indian subcontinent that means delhi punjab haryana but kalvaisakhi occurs with increasing frequency from march till monsoon so we can say uh, it continues till june especially in the northeastern parts of india i hope this video is informative for you so stay happy stay safe 
आई एम गोइंग टू मीट यू वेरी सुन बाय